Hi guys, welcome to the live stream. Yes! Today is February 27, 2022, guys, and the time is 12 noon. Welcome to beautiful Portland, Oregon. Today is a very beautiful rainy day in Portland and kind of chilly, you know, very cold. So, but it's, we're here together, guys. Thank you for uh, joining me. I'm going to wait for you guys to, uh, to log in. And I'm going to ask you to please to give me a, a comment whether or not you can hear me. You can you see me fine. Okay, so let's see. I don't have anyone here yet. So let me just look at the window. I want to see who's, who's here. Uh, let's see. Output. Okay, let's see. Let's see who's here. Um, the comments. Okay, so I don't have anyone here yet. Uh, six people. Welcome, guys. Can you give me a thumbs up? Can you let me know whether... Can you hear me fine? Can you see me fine? You know, and just... I just want to make sure that everything is, is working out, okay? Because sometimes this uh, technology... Okay, hi, Val. Val. Welcome. Welcome, Val. The first one, yes. Let me just put you here. Okay, so welcome, Val. Yes, I have seven people. To like, ten people. Wow. Hi, Mary Lou. French Candle. Yes, hola. Finally. Welcome. Yes, I know. Let's see who else. Medjin Clary, I'm here. Chef K. Rose, Crosset. Okay. So bougie candles, hey, hey guys, welcome. Welcome to the live stream, guys. We have a lot to talk about today, guys. I don't know if you saw my uh, my video that I posted during the week. You know, uh, it was so much fun working with this with this th with these candles that I got from sixteen seventeen. You know, and I just wanted to share with you guys. Do you have you guys have any uh, good good things during the week? Hi Tia, aloha, yes, Tia, welcome, I hope you're having a great time, you know, I'm pretty sure uh, that you are, you know, it's better than Portland, I mean, are you back in Port uh, in, in California, uh, well, it's raining here and it's very cold, so I'm pretty sure in Hawaii it's beautiful, and I hope you're having a great time, okay guys, so let me show you guys this beautiful vessel from 1617, okay, stemless, black glass, and look at this beautiful candle that I made, guys. Isn't this beautiful? Look at this. Hi, Jackie. Look at this bougie candle, guys, that I made. Look. This looks so high-end. So bougie, guys. Beautiful. Very heavy, guys. This feels very expensive. So I just wanted to show you guys how to embellish a candle using this uh, gold foil, guys. And you know what? I, I'm, I'm running a, a burn test, and it's not clogging up the wicks at all. You know why? Because I was doing some research and this is the only material that you can put on candles that will not clog, uh, clog the wicks. You know why? Because gold does not melt in the candle, okay? Gold stays solid, so it doesn't interrupt with the, with the, uh, with the burning process. So I'm putting a candle. Let me just show you to you right now. Let me just show you guys. Let me just see. Let me just bring. I'm going to bring the candle over because I'm running a test on the gold candle that I made, which I am obsessed with it. Let me see if I can show it to you guys. Let me just bring this over without breaking the arm. Okay, so let me just bring the candle over. And let me see if I can just change the camera angle. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Let's see. I don't know if you can see the gold, the gold flakes, guys. Look at it. Do you see the gold flakes at the end? It makes it look so expensive, so unique. And you see that this is not burning. It's not uh, uh, giving me any any burn uh, uh, from the gold because the gold doesn't burn. It needs to be a very high uh, temperature. So this is just something that I wanted to share with you guys because I'm so happy that you can see this, you know. And this candle has been burning now for four hours. And it's doing great. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just let me just put you guys back. Okay. And look at the other one. Isn't that beautiful? Look. This is the stemless glass from 1617.com. And I'm using soy bliss wax. And I'm using one CDN number six. And this is the perfect combination, guys. Okay? But look how beautiful that gold foil looks. Yes, beautiful. 
So let me just put it back. Um, yeah, so I'm very happy, guys. The result that I'm getting with this is like uh, is you're taking your candles to another level, you know, and that's what you want. You want to be different. You want to be. I mean, maybe you don't do that for all your candles, but like for special occasions, you know, like uh, let's say for uh, let's say if you want to give a present to your boss or whatever, you know, just give them one of those candles, and they're gonna appreciate you more, you know. And so, you know, uh, for a wedding, also for uh, for wedding favors, if you want to put on. on if you're doing a wedding, guys, you can just do the small candles like that, and then just put uh, uh, the gold uh, gold leaf. But one thing that is very important, guys, is that you are not to use uh, those uh, gold flakes. Let me just show you the only thing that you can use on the candles that it will give you 100%. Uh, somebody's knocking on the door, I guess. Can you hear the dogs? <laughs> can you hear the dogs barking? My love. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Nothing I can do about that. Okay, so let me show you what I got. Okay. Okay. So I was making a test. I was making a test for the color and this is what I came up with, you know, this is a mix, a mixture of yellow and uh, honey from Candle Science. Look at how beautiful that is. This is gold foil. And this is the, it comes like this on these sheets. And this is very delicate, guys. It's, you have to be very, very careful because when you open this, it's like, it's, it's very thin, extremely thin. It's a very small. Let me just show you one. And this, I was able to get it on Amazon. I went to different craft stores. Look at this. Okay. So this is very, oof, look at it. You see? You see what happens? It's very thin. It's thinner than air. So let me just put it back. It's thinner than air. So, and it's very expensive. This is real 24 karat gold. Okay. Real gold. Don't get the imitation because the imitation, I was watching a video on YouTube. If you get the imitation gold flakes and you get those gold flakes that comes in, uh, in flakes, high PS hunters, uh, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna burn and it's gonna give you a nasty smell, a nasty smoke. It has to be the real gold. Okay. Again, look at how beautiful it looks. Yes. So for my candles, guys, I use three different scent oils. Fragrance oils from 1617. I use in one of them, I use Calle 23 on the number one. Calle 23. This is my favorite scent from them so far. On candle number two, I use Persephone. Persephone is a, uh, my, my husband's favorite scent. And on candle number three, I use. Let me see. Let me see the notes. Uh, Eternal. Forever. Eternal. Yes! So, you know, it's, and I'm testing them right now, guys. The HT is amazing. The CT is amazing. So it, this is the perfect candle. That's why I kind of stress enough, guys, that my favorite wax is Soy Bliss. You know, it's, it's what works for me. Oh, Salty Beach, do not use those on your candles because you're gonna, uh, you're gonna, they're gonna burn and you're gonna give you a nasty smell and they're gonna clog you, uh, uh, your wigs too, okay? So all those, uh, gold leaf, they call it gold leaf. And you, if you go to Michael's and you go to, to Joanne's, if you go to Hobby Lobby, I went to all those stores and they don't have the real thing. They have the ones that you put, uh, on wooden, uh, frames. Those are the ones that they have. And you don't want to use that for candles. Yeah. Guys, do you have any questions for me? Yes. Okay, so let's talk about taking pictures, guys. I don't know if you saw on, on the middle of the video. Uh, I'll show you how I take pictures of my on my candles, guys, and it's very. And I just want to show you to you again live, you know, to show you how easy it is and inexpensive. Let me just put the other camera. You know, you can buy material. This this, I was putting this just to show you guys. This in here, 
this is a piece of material this is one yard of material that i bought at Joanne's fabrics you know and this is like it looks like leather but look it's fake leather it's material but it looks so real you know for a for a background so what i did is i put it inside a, on a table so you can just go guys get a couple of clamps like this let me just put this candle away so let me just take Take the material, guys. And just put it on a shelf like that. Just put two clamps. And then just push it back. Push it back because you want to create shadows. You want to create texture on your background. If you have too much, take the end. Just fold it over in here. Okay? And just put it in there. You want to create texture. And you want to create different elevations. And I also want to recommend you this. This I got a Hobby Lobby. This is like a, a gift box, and look at this. Look at all the boxes you have in here. These are all the levels that you can make. So, you know, it's it's great. It's a small boxes that you have in there, you know, and you can just make different levels. You can put the different boxes in, inside. Let me just show you. And I also have in round. You see, it has like different boxes in here. You know, so you can make, you have different elevations, guys, you see? You know, you can use this as, as platforms, you know? So you can create different elevations. You know? And then you can put the candles in there if you want to. You know, or if not, if you want to be more cleaner, let me show you what you, what you do. So, let's say you wanna, you just want to do a little bit of a, a platform, guys. Take the cover, put it underneath. So you put one candle in there, you see? And then you put the other one Either you can put it to the side, or you can, you can put it lower. Or if you wanna create more, put another one, just, just keep putting stuff in there, just pre to create an anchor, you know? And you see, and then you can play with the placement, okay? Preferably, I like to have three, three candles. The other one is burning, so I cannot use it. But usually you are supposed to have three candles. Let me see if I can find another one, guys, hold on. Okay, I have another one in here. Let me go get it. Okay. I made an extra candle because my my neighbor's birth. Uh, she asked me for one, and so uh, I made her one. And here it is. And so this is the same as the uh, the gold one. Okay. So you can do it like this. So now you have a different angle, or you can put another one like this. Let me just get another platform. Or you can even do it like this. Anyway, you, you get what I'm trying to get you, yes? Get, yes, guys, you know, to create different different elevations, you know? You can put this in here, like that. And then you can put this one either like this also. And then you take another picture, and then you take a picture from this angle, okay? The same with this, you can put it like this also. And then you come from this angle, and then you can see, then you can see, let me just take you guys, Closer, hold on. So you can go different angles. I don't wanna take the camera out of here because I don't wanna go, I don't want to mess up. And then, like I told you guys, 
I highly recommend, I highly recommend guys that you get a, a ring light. I think that's going to be a good investment for your candle business. Uh, this is the one that I have. You want to get something big, you know, that you're going to be able to elevate, you know, uh, change the angle also. This one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna link this one. I'm gonna link this one, guys, on uh, down below. I think I pay 119 for this, and then this one has something in here, and then you can just go. Hold on. You see, you can just change the lighting in there. So you change the lighting in there, and then you come in here. You can take a picture from here. Change the. the change the, uh, the composition, and then you can just keep uh, taking pictures, you know? So this is the importance, guys. If you have to have good lighting, you know? And that, that's the key. And then if you want to, get some props. These are flowers that I got. Also a Hobby Lobby, dry flowers, you know? So if you want, you can just add, you know, whatever you want, you around the mood. I mean, look at this beautiful thing in here. For example, I love this one because it's, they're very minimalistic, you know, and just... Just put a small detail like that, and then you can just take, you know, and take the picture, you know, or you can put it as a background to enhance the background, guys. Just play with the placement, you know, it's, it's just, just get it right. But always, the main thing you want to focus uh, the main thing is going to be your candles. Okay? That's the one thing that you want to really focus on because you're selling the candles. You're not selling the, the props. Okay? And people love this kind of photography. You know why? There's nothing distracting uh, on the background. It's, it's all in your candle, on your product. And that's when I want to stress you uh, to you guys. You know, it's like uh, I see people on, on the different groups. Hold on. Asking for different advices on labels. Label, guys, are so important, you know. It's like you only have like a fraction of a second to get the attention from the from the customer. If you put a label that is too busy and that the eye has a hard time uh, focusing on, it's not it's gonna it's not gonna get you a sale. You know, it's not gonna give you a sale. People want to buy beautiful things, uh, you know, and when people go shopping, like me, the most important thing is I want to see a beautiful thing. I don't want to see, uh, I mean, you want to see, you want to see something that the price, of course, but you want to see a beautiful thing. If the price is very expensive, you think, okay, why am I, why do I like this so much? Am I willing to pay this amount of money for a candle? And I say, when you look at it, and you fall, if you fall in love with it, and you fall in love with the scent that brings you back memories of a happy day, you know, or uh, a romantic evening, whatever, you're gonna pay the money, believe me, because I do, I do. So, yeah, and I just want to not to not just to advise you guys on, on stuff like that. Oh hi, thank you, Mary Lou. Okay. Let me show you the different kinds of fabrics that you can get, okay? So I have this one here. Let me show you all the ones that I have. So you can have an idea, you know, of how... Uh, if you go to Joanne's Fabric or any, any kind of fabric uh, fabric store... I can show you, okay? Hold on. So if you have a white candle, guys, get something like this because you wanna have contrast. You see the contrast in here between the black and the lighter background? Perfect. Okay, if you wanna have dramatic, uh, if you wanna have drama, you can use the leather, the fake leather background that I have on the on the pictures that I, that I posted in the video. Uh, if you have like, look how this beautiful this is. This is like a, it has like stars. So you can put this, you can drape this in there too, guys. And we make a, if you have white candles, I think this would be ideal, okay, for white candles. Then, let me just fold this. 
it's like you know just just go to the fabric store and guess whatever is on sale all this stuff was on sale at Joanne's I didn't spend that much money you know I see people buying a lot of uh, these light boxes and uh, to be honest I don't really recommend them because I'll tell you why hold on there's nothing that I dislike most when I see uh, product photography when you see the corner the corner of the of, of, of the boxes you know, like that that corner is so distracting you know it's the beauty of this is to have infinity when you have a curve like that it gives you infinity so it's when you have the corner it puts a line on the picture so your eye gets attracted to that right away you all you see is the corner of the box uh, believe me, it, believe, uh, it's something psychological, you know, that it's, that it's what happens. Okay, I have another background like this one. This one is the same also. It looks like leather, but look at how beautiful this is. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the, the reflection, guys. It looks like, look at how beautiful that is. That makes a beautiful background. Yes! <laughs> I'm so excited to show you this, guys, because you know what? It's something that I want, I want you guys to save money. You know, oh, and by the way, guys, your best camera is your cell phone. I always use my cell phone. I have an iPhone, an iPhone 13 Pro, and I use it always the portrait mode, and I play with the f-stops to give me... Uh, depth of feel you know to erase the background and then to put the candles uh give all the, all the attention to the candles you know so you play with that you know on the settings let me let me show you more material hold on okay I'm, I'm washing the candle because the candle is over there and it's lit up. I don't want to, I don't want to set the room on fire, you know, but. <laughs> okay. Do you remember this one, guys, that I show you? This one is velvet. This, if you want to make something look sophisticated, guys, oof. It doesn't get better than this. Look at this. Yes. Look at. Oh my God. Hold on, guys. My brother is calling me. Sorry for that. I should have put the notifications down. It's just that. Okay. So look at this velvet, guys. Look at how beautiful this will look with this candle. Beautiful and very luxurious. And then I have the same velvet in purple. Okay, and then I have the same one in purple. So this, look at how beautiful this is. This is the color of passion. Look at this. Yes. Beautiful guys, okay? Get different textures, you know, it's the texture shows on the, on the candle, okay? Okay, and the last one that I wanna show you is the fake leather that I got. Which is this one. And um, believe me guys, this one here, this is only IR. I don't know how they figured this out. This is a IR of material, guys. Can you believe this? Look at that. Look at that. Look at how beautiful. 
it looks like real leather. Look at the reflection of the lights. You know, it's like, yes. Beautiful, gorgeous leather, you know, and perfect for any background. I think this will be really like one that is like, if you, for a luxury line of candles, I think this will be ideal. They have this also in black and they also have this, I believe in you know, on beige, on a lighter color also. So yeah, just go, go to the ones, you know, and just go, I mean, they have so many beautiful things. Let me show you one, I have one in pink for spring now, guys. I'm gonna show you one perfect for spring. Okay. For spring or, or you know, if you have a, an event, like a wedding candle or something, you know, just look at this beautiful, look at this beautiful thing, guys. This has, of course, you have to steam this, okay? You have to take all the wrinkles out. But look, it has like a silver, like silver uh, glitter on it. But doesn't that look sophisticated, guys? Very chic to put on a beautiful, 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 beautiful. Yes! You know, again, this, this is only a yard. It was not expensive at all. You know, and you can just use this and reuse this, and if it gets stained, just throw it away and get no, get a new one. And this one here, guys, look at the color. Look at this beautiful color. This one is amazing. Again, it has a lot of glitter. Look how beautiful. I mean, this is, will be a great background, you know, and then you can get the reflections of the candles in here, you know, like you put it over there and you put the candles on top. Beautiful. So these are a few of my ideas, guys. And if you have also, I think I've done a couple of videos before, check on your closet, you know, and you have like robes, uh, fancy dresses, you know, something that looks uh, a special pattern that you like, you know, just put it in. Watch the video, just put it as a background like this also, the same, and just take pictures in there, okay? So that's that's my advice for today, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Yes! So, you know, it's, and when the weather gets nicer, of course, I'm gonna show you a few tricks on how to take pictures outside, okay? Because I'm planning to do my uh, my live streams outside, at door, in my garden, and, and I cannot wait for the weather to get nice and for the party, for the flowers to come out, you know, and for everything to look beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Jamina. Thank you. Guys, do you have any questions for me? Hi, Jules. Jules Ruiz, where are you from? Okay. Okay. Guys, do you have any questions for me? Let me just put this away because I, I want to see it again. See, let me just put this in the other chair. Hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the fragrance oils that I got from Stone Candle. Okay, so I got this. Let me just. In here. Let me put the candles away because I don't want them falling all over the place. It's away. Here, guys, you see, 
So you see how easy it is? Just two clamps, two clamps, and then here you have the stuff that to put the, the different levels. It's so easy. Okay. Yes, yes, PS Hunters. Uh, I think the the, uh, the only week series that I recommend with Soy Bliss is the CDN series. All the way. I tried them all, guys, and I'm telling you, it's the only way to go. You know, at least for me, that's what works, you know, and it makes beautiful candles. I know that when I'm going to... When I'm going to be using a fragrance oil, I'm not a good one, I know that it's going to work out for me. Okay, so guys, I got the Santal. Uh, unfortunately, it opened up. It came open, a little bit open. So the name got faded. But this is the Santal. And I have to say, and I also got the Kate. And I think I, I tested the Kate with you and I didn't like it. But I'm going to try it again today, okay? And I also got uh, gardenia. Okay, so let me get the fragrance strips. Okay. The first one is going to be Santal. Okay, let's see how... I, I got lychee too. I love lychee. Uh, vanilla and green, tea and green tea. Is that one scent or is that two separate ones? Salty Beach, you say, I use CD with my soy bliss. You know what? I highly recommend, guys, I'm, I'm only recommending you what works for me, okay? I'm not saying to you, just you just have to get it, you know? Some, sometimes what works for me may not work for you. You know, it's we're all different, guys. It's like, you know, it's like colors. You know, if you like, it's like scents. What works for you, stick with that, okay? That's that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, let's see. This is from... Hi, Yamina. Uh, this is from Stone Candles. Stone Candle Bar. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to link it below, okay? Okay, Santa is out of this world. I I really love it. You know, I know at the first time I, when I first got the sample, I didn't like it a lot. But but this in here is like very. It's kind of floral. It's kind of green. Uh, it's not that strong. Uh, it's it smells to me like a. Like a bush, like some some green uh, greenery bush. I don't smell. It has a little bit of floral, but I don't smell it that much. Uh, it's very nice. I'm gonna make a candle out of this one. I'm gonna. I need to read more about it on on the website. Uh, it smells like green to me. It's very hard for me to differentiate uh, the, the different notes. I don't smell any citrus. I don't smell. Any, I smell a little bit of woodsiness in here. Yeah, it's different. I like it. It's very comforting. It's very like, relaxing. It's very spring. I like it. Okay, now the next one is Kate. Okay, thank you, Chef. Two separate ones? Okay. Okay. Now, guys, I tested uh, the Kate before and I didn't like it at all. So I, I wanna test it in conjunction with uh, Santal and see whether or not I, I like it better, okay? This is too powerful for me. It smells too, uh, like, like marijuana. That's what it smells to me, to be honest. Okay. Okay, I sm it smells different to me now. I smell it better. Uh, I still smell, I still smell the uh, the patchouli-ness. 
It smells very patchouli, very uh, patchouli Palo Santo type, you know, woodsiness. Okay, so let's see how it goes with uh, Santal together. Okay, you see guys, these two together, they really go well. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because they're both, uh, they're both uh, earthy fragrances. They're both like on the woodsiness uh, kind of a family. I smell a little bit floral from the Santal too. So it's coming along. So it's, it's playing, it plays well together. So I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a candle out of this, uh, guys, and I'm gonna use equal parts Santa and equal parts uh, K, okay? Uh, together, I really like it a lot. Okay, now you all know, guys, that I love my favorite flower besides plumeria is gardenia. So let me just make a test. Okay, gardenia from Stone Candles. Okay, Chef, so you use them for uh, for blends. Can you give us like an idea of what, what is your favorite blend for Stone Candle fragrances that you can share with us? I mean, if you don't mind, it's, I understand what you don't want to say, but, but it's, okay, let's see Gardenia, guys. Beautiful. Wow, okay. Uh, this is a beautiful Gardenia, guys. It's very... Okay, I, I smelled this before and I didn't like it, but today, for some reason, I'm loving it. Okay, I'll, but this gardenia, I will not blame with anything else. Uh, if this is the true essence of gardenia, guys, and it's something that I don't want to blame with anything else. And I'm going to make a candle out of this, and I'm going to report back to you next Sunday, okay, guys? So next Sunday, I'm going to be talking about the candles that I'm making today, uh, this week, okay? Beautiful gardenia. Beautiful. It's it smells. It smells like the, like the true flower. I don't smell anything else. Any any other notes in here? Yeah, guys. I have twenty three people. Could you please give me more likes for uh, the video to do better? Okay, guys. I really appreciate. Yes. I'm very happy with this, guys. Yes. Okay. Guys, do you have any, any any questions for me? Any any suggestions? Any videos that you want me to make for you guys? I will take any suggestions. I would love it. Yes. Let's see what I have to show you guys. Oh, yeah. When it comes to props, you know, like this, these rocks, you can buy also a Hobby Lobby. I have this, the white ones. I have the black ones, you know, that you can use for props, you take pictures. And you can use also the, uh, the glass ones, I have them in red, I have them in clear, and I have them in blue. So you just play with this, you know, it's like... And this is very inexpensive, guys, and this you're gonna have forever, you know. So yeah, so try playing with that, guys. I hope you, everything works out for you, and just play with it, you know, it's, 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 it's like a learning process, you know, it's like I... It's like learning how to combine, learning how to combine scents, you know? It comes with experience. The more you do it, the more you get used to it. And it's great because uh, whenever you like a scent, let's say gardenia, and let's say I'm gonna get new scents tomorrow, whatever it is. So you remember that you love the gardenia from Stone Candles. So if you wanna maybe play with this, just grab it because you already have it in, on your mind. Yes, I uh, PS Hunters. Uh, if you watch my last video, I show you how I decorate, how I put the gold foil. Okay, so so take a look at that at that video, and you're gonna see how I put it in. White peach, ginger, and white tea. Okay. Uh, Polanos, how I'm making out a candle in a wooden vessel? Um, I'm staying away from wooden vessels because I don't think that's safe for me. You know. Um, it's something that I'm not drawn to, you know, that, I, you know, it's, yeah. It's not something that I want to really, uh, it's the same thing with the, it's the same thing like, uh, uh, how you call it, um, like, 
the wooden wig company scents, you know? I have so many of them, guys, and I try working uh, using those those Pagan's oils. I try using the wooden wicks from the wooden wig company and from other companies, and they did not work for me. So I'm just trying, I'm just trying to show you guys stuff that I love, that I'm passionate about, you know? If I'm not passionate about something, I'm not gonna do it, you know? Yeah. My wax melts were great. Okay, so add a little bit of Santal to the Tom four. Okay, that sounds great. And guys, do you see that some candles, they they revamp the, the website. So it's a whole brand new look and everything. It's easier to maneuver, you know? Yeah, so it's much better. Yeah, I don't like the wooden vessels. I, I don't want to start playing with them. You know, it's it's just like, it's not for me. Uh, the gardenia and white grapefruit acai. Oh my God, I love white grapefruit acai. I made a candle out of that one and it's out of this world. So I'm going to follow your advice. I'm going to try that one with the, with the gardenia. Okay. Okay, guys. So guys, I'm going to leave the, uh, the video, uh, the live streaming here because my husband is going to take me out to lunch to a very nice restaurant because today, today happens to be my birthday. Yay! <laughs> today is my 61st birthday, guys. And yeah, so I'm very happy. I'm very excited. I didn't want to make it a, a big deal at the beginning of the video. But yes, today I turned 61. Uh, this morning I went uh, to the gym, did my workout, so I'm ready. Uh, do you have do I, uh, salty beach? Do you have a favorite scent? My favorite scents so far are the ones from 1617.com. All of them. It's uh, to me they are like another level. It's like above all this. That's to me is the holy grail. I'm gonna be using all the fragrance oils for my candle line. Thank you, Tia. Thank you so much. Yeah. So uh, yeah, you know it's like. Uh, I'm experimenting using different different companies, guys. But to me, uh, it doesn't get any better than 1617.com. All of them. And I'm pretty sure they're coming up with new fragrances very soon. I'm looking forward for that. And also, they're coming out with the new spring vessels, the Evermores. So check them out. Go to the website and check them out. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much, all of you guys, for your, for your birthday wishes. Yes, I'm 61, guys. Yes. And if you want to see my transformation, guys, uh, go to my other channel, Healthy Living with Michael. But go all the way to the beginning of the channel. So you're going to see my transformation, okay? So check it out. Thank you so much, Val. Okay, guys. So thank you. Thank you, everyone. And I'll see you next Sunday. And have a wonderful week. I love you all. Yes! Yes! <laughs>